Hi, she was seven. I'm back. Okay, so if y'all have not seen this video circling around about this, this lady talking about McDonald's is a good date and women don't need to um, go, you know, on different types of dates to get to know a guy. You don't have to put on makeup and uh, heels to get to know a guy. Okay, uh, sitting on the stoop in the park in a car or at McDonald's is a good enough date. Okay, so this lady just lady made a video and it kind of went viral, and then she had to make another video right after it because people were commenting calling her a pick me a pick me chick like um you know putting down other women so that the guys who put down women will pick her or you know inbox her or think she's special you know and then she made a video about how she's not a pick me chick because she was you know raised around all these good upstanding guys and that she just does a few men like that you know um but i feel like Underneath it all, she really still is the pick me chick because why? Because she just said that you should be so great as a woman that you, if you walked into McDonald's, that you would upgrade McDonald's. Now, that makes zero type of sense. And I don't know why she said it, but she said it. So, you know. If I go into McDonald's, you know, McDonald's is a huge corporation known for selling pink slime meat, known for, you know, um, known for lots of things, you know, good childhood memories, of course, uh, McNuggets, um, all the fancy items that they have on their menu that you can choose from ladies if you choose to go on a date there and take this lady's advice. Um, but me walking into McDonald's, it's not going to upgrade McDonald's. Okay. McDonald's makes millions of dollars off of people who eat there. Okay. McDonald's is not going to upgrade me at all. And I'm not going to upgrade McDonald's at all. Okay. I don't care how you try to put it. It's just not going to happen. Okay. If I walk into McDonald's and I'm just going to be a normal customer okay i'm not going to upgrade it it's not going to happen okay um so i don't see that being true at all you know if you walk into mcdonald's with a grown man on a date you have just downgraded yourself you didn't upgrade mcdonald's they just made some money off of you off, off of him you know but nothing has been upgraded whatsoever except their um, their cash register if you were to you know say okay I don't mind going on a date to McDonald's I don't mind sitting sitting on a stoop for a date to get to know you let's talk let's get to know each other you know that is what this is for you guys that that's what this is for okay this is for cheap free conversation if you want to see me, if I got to come up out of my house, drive my car, put on perfume, hair, makeup, lashes, glitter, underwear, uh, shoes, lotion, deodorant, what else I got to put on? Uh, fake nails if you wear fake nails, earrings, necklace, bracelet, bra. Um, Spanx if you need Spanx what else what else do I have to actually put on my body okay makeup lipstick um, after I'm done doing all that you gonna take me to McDonald's and to, or to sit on a stoop or to sit in somebody's car I feel like that is an insult to me and you know if I were to walk out of my house with the outfit to, to go to McDonald's, you would not like me because the only thing that I could see being worth going to McDonald's is a hair bonnet and some flip flops. Okay. And whatever I'm wearing at the time, that pajamas stained with jelly, that's what you're getting. Okay. Because that's what you're paying for. You're paying for a value meal and you want me to use about a thousand dollars worth of products to go and sit up at McDonald's okay no 
I can't even carry my nice purse into McDonald's. I can't even carry, you know, I can't even wear heels because I might slip and fall. You know what I'm saying? They always have them little um, mop floor signs and stuff like that, okay? No, and then the bathroom stinks. So, oh, and then let's not talk about the play area, okay? You want to hear some loud kids screaming on the date? Um, people slipping and sliding on the wet floor next to the mop sign, okay? You want to hear the drive-thru in the background? That's so romantic. Yes, okay. And then she was saying, well, people are stuck on the McDonald's part of it. Well, what about just getting to know someone in a different type of environment that's free? Blah, 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 blah. Well, let's, let's talk about that, okay? Um, my husband gets paid to show up uh, like to places to consult people to talk to people and he gets paid to do that okay um, so why why should I be any different if I'm single you know if I'm single why should I lower my standards go sit at McDonald's and uh, belittle myself or go sit on a stoop um, and belittle myself because I don't feel like I'm worth taking to dinner okay ladies there are grown men with grown men pockets that can afford to take you out you don't have to settle that is your choice you determine your worth if you accept a mcdonald's date that's what you're worth if you accept sitting on a stoop that's what you're worth if you accept any of those types of dates you have downgraded you have made it bad for the next woman who he runs into and he expects her to do the exact same thing go to McDonald's and sit on a stoop or whatever and she tells him no okay you're making it worse for the women who actually value themselves instead of you know will take anything or um, just because somebody's cute you're gonna allow them to um, take you on a date that is probably more appropriate for a junior high school kid okay that's not right and if you are preaching that to other women, if you're preaching that to other women, what you're doing is lowering a lot of people's expectations and standards, okay? And we can't have strong families and we can't have st stable um, households if people are taking grown people out to dates on McDonald's, you know, McDonald's, Happy Meal, um, quarter pounder with cheese large shake fries or whatever you know I don't even eat that stuff you know so you know if you gonna take me somewhere you gonna take me somewhere nice if, if I'm gonna go somewhere very casual it's not gonna be any type of McDonald's you know what I'm saying um, I'm sorry I just I couldn't do it it's like it's not even in my DNA it's not even in my DNA like my mom wouldn't even do it okay and she was from the old school it's just not in my DNA to accept mediocrity uh, maybe it's in yours it's not in mine I can't do it it just won't work it don't even feel right I, I, I would sit here I would actually probably break out in hives if I actually were agreeing to go out on a date and sit inside of a McDonald's I would probably break out in hives and wonder if I'm in a parallel universe or dimension and if this is really real in my dream and I will be pinching myself like did I really agree to this what the heck you know um <laughs> that's what I would be and this lady is steady talking about it and it just bothers me that um you know when these type of women get pregnant by these McDonald date men and wonder why they can't get any help or support or why the man won't stick around and then they, they then they want to ask questions and call him sorry then but he wasn't sorry when he was feeding you french fries at McDonald's right he wasn't sorry then but now he's sorry because he can't afford a child he can't afford a wife he can't afford to pay the hospital bills he can't afford for you to stay home to work now you got to actually go get another job or work at McDonald's yourself because he can't afford to do anything for you you know um, and a real man would never suggest taking a woman to McDonald's what type of paycheck does he have if that's all he can come up with you know the only way I'm gonna ever date somebody at a McDonald's is if they own the McDonald's and we just going in to pick up the cash okay that's it 
I would I can't I can't do it and you're teaching young ladies to accept mediocrity and this is not even mediocrity you know this is below this is this is bad you know um, it, it feels like what you're trying to do is help these guys to stay broke and low you're helping you're enabling these men to stay broke you're enabling these men to not want to thrive to do better you know you're enabling these men to think McDonald's date is okay you're enabling these men to ask women to go Dutch you're enabling these men to be sorry men and you're proud of it okay you're worse than um, a single parent trying to raise a grown man and d don't know how okay now that they've gotten into the real world you know you're still pacifying them treating them like children okay this is a grown man they're not a high school student okay they can afford more than McDonald's if they if they value and see your uh, worth they would not even utter the words McDonald's or stoop or car around you that's your value okay um, I understand that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get to know someone. I understand because it's called a phone, okay? They got FaceTime. You don't have to leave your house. You don't have to spend gas money. You know, there are expenses these days. And if, you know, there are even websites where men will actually pay you to just meet them out for dinner. It's not an escort service or anything. They just want someone to eat with. You know, they will pay you for your time. Okay, so why on earth would anyone want to go and sit up in a fast food restaurant and call it a date? I don't know, um, but I feel like the women are are never going to get anywhere, and the men are never going to aim higher if this kind of stuff keeps getting, you know. Uh, Put out okay the, the funny thing is is nobody's even listening to her they're always they're calling her a pick me girl you know um, and I, I feel like even if she is or even if she's not she's saying the wrong thing she's devaluing women okay we deserve more than that okay we deserve more than that okay McDonald's is full of carcinogens we deserve more than that at least take us to Panera Bread <laughs> okay don't know okay so I feel like this is the type of woman that is holding us back as women in general this is the type of woman who's holding us back because she is saying oh it's okay baby it's okay if you're broke let's just get to know each other okay I don't need to get to know nothing about no broke man okay what do I need to know you can't pay my bills and you can't pay your bills adios that's good enough for me that's all I need to know and I don't need to go meet you at McDonald's to figure that out as soon as you utter the word McDonald's I already know the story so there is no use for me to get to know any broke man who's asking me to go on a date to McDonald's or sit on a stoop in a car okay I would feel like um you know I would not be honored I would be actually insulted okay um I, I would think it would be a cruel joke. I would think it would be a, a prank. And I would just laugh. I'd be like, ha ha, that's funny. Now, where do you really want to meet? <laughs> okay. Um, and you know, men will treat the woman as she allows him to treat her. So, you might have a, a, a man. And if this chick lets him take her to McDonald's, that's fine. And you might date the same man and he will take you to an upscale restaurant because that's what you demand and that's what you that's what you like okay he's not gonna waste his money on the low value chick he's gonna save his money and take the chick out who has higher standards and the one with lower standards is gonna get drive through okay and he's gonna use that one up and he's gonna keep chasing the one with higher standards because she makes him want to do better. He, She makes him want to get more and strive higher so that he can please her and keep taking her to these nice places and impressing her. So just by her having high standards raises his standards, okay? Now if I were to say yes to this McDonald's date, 
No, he might not try to get a better job. He might not try to move up out of minimum wage status. He might just be like, I got everything I want right here. Minimum wage job, woman, and a big plate of food from McDonald's. This is all I want, you know? And that's all he's gonna want. And then one day you're gonna be like, well, you know, don't you wanna do better in life? Oh no, no, it's okay, we could just stay like this forever. You love me for me, right? You know? What's wrong with McDonald's? <laughs> that's what the kind of reaction you're gonna get. So lady about the McDonald's date, stoop date or whatever. I don't agree. I know most women did not agree with you except the very unattractive ones that don't put effort or love themselves don't put effort into themselves or love themselves and they will just take anything that's handed to them those are the only women that agreed with you the ones that already have low standards and mcdonald's would be a treat okay those are the only women that were agreeing with you and i think i commented on your video on facebook and i i said kind of what i said in this video and i feel like you know the truth you know the truth you're just trying to get views and you're trying to make women um lower their standard so um these broke men who are probably in your family have a chance to date because right now things are pretty looking bad looking pretty bad for these type of men okay so i'm sorry um i'm here to bring honesty i'm here to bring a wake-up call to women if you accept that kind of crap you lowered your standards okay you know, that's that's like going to college, getting out and then being offered a job at McDonald's. Why did you even go to college? You know, why did you even get up this morning and put on, uh, you know, face makeup? Why did you even get up this morning and put on deodorant just so you can go eat at McDonald's with some broke dude? No. OK, you can't let women lower their standards by putting out BS online just because you think it sounds good and a bunch of guys are going to thumbs up okay all them guys that thumbs you up are broke if you added all up their paychecks you still couldn't eat at a nice restaurant okay <laughs> all them likes don't add up to even five thousand dollars i bet of net worth so i'm sorry but you can get all, most of those likes were from men that are broke and there are a lot of broke men out there Okay, a lot of them. And they would jump at the chance to take a woman on a date to McDonald's, actually. You know, they would be relieved, stress-free. They wouldn't have to look crazy when they grab their wallet or when the bill comes. You know, it's not going to be something outrageous. They're not going to have to dip into their rent. No, they're not going to have to do that. They're not even going to have to try to impress you. So, you know, it's a good thing. So... If you if you like dating broke, scroll up mediocre men with no ambition, then a date to McDonald's is great, and I wish you the best of luck.